Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy The Boar, back again with another YouTube video. And in the last video, we done the Marvel's Rivals tank tier list. And I told you that we're going to do the DPS tier list. So here we are. We're going to be ranking the Marvel's Rivals beta, close beta, DPS hero tier list. Now, like I said, I've been playing this game for quite a while and I've got a feel for a lot of the characters and where I think they rank currently. Of course, this is still the beta, so a lot of these characters will probably change. People will get buffed or nerfed in the future. But as they are right now, as the game is so far, these are my thoughts and what I think about the game. So, before we get into this though, if you lot have been enjoying the videos on the channel and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. It does really help out the channel, it does me a lot. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it too. And yeah, share it around with your friends. And let's get into the video, man. Boom. Alright, so I kind of want to make this short and sweet. I don't want this to be too long. Starting with Scarlet. Okay, it's actually the first character here. Scarlet was my main character. This character is actually kind of insane. Scarlet, I think what makes Scarlet so good is the fact that she has very good survivability. Her survivability on her, like, her teleport, well, it's not really a teleport, she just goes, she phases out, she goes invisible for like a set period of time and you can't touch her. Yeah, she's very good. Her survivability with that's good. Her, da her DPS is good. She does pretty good damage with the explosive um, the explosive magic as well. Her range, she doesn't have the greatest range, but it doesn't matter because you can get within range and then if you're in trouble, you can simply teleport out. So back to safety or back to your team or to a healer. And you, she's really good with playing around health packs as well. If you have the map memorized where all the health packs are, she can play around those really well with her, with her abilities. So. With that being said, I definitely think this character is going at an S tier. I think she's an S tier DPS currently. I think she's one of the best ones. She's also the character I have the most uh, hours on. She is my main. All right, next we have Black Panther. You know what's crazy? This character here, a lot of people have mixed opinions. Some people think he's like super good. Some people think he's horrible, like the worst in the game type of thing. The way I see it, I think this character is currently B tier. I say this because one, he doesn't do the greatest amount of damage. He's very agile using his dash, but his dash has two charges. And also, I think this character is not... If you're playing on controller, like you don't, you don't know this game is um, this game is cross-platform. So if you're playing on controller, Black Panther will probably not feel very good to you. If you're playing on keyboard and mouse, and you're good with 180s, because you need to be using his dash into 180 dash, you need to be zigzagging all over the screen. So if your sensitivity is not matching that sort of speed, you're going to struggle with Black Panther. You're probably not going to think he's that good. If you're very good with that, or you can keyboard and mouse as well, you're going to have a lot more success, or you're most likely going to have more success playing a character like Black Panther, and you're going to see his, type, his actual potential. In terms of his abilities, though, I do think they are a bit lackluster in comparison to some of the other heroes in the game. So I'm going to leave him at B tier. The fact that his ult also refreshes his dash is also pretty cool. Oh, next we've got Magic. Magic is actually very good. I was surprised with Magic in this game. Magic is very good. I have been playing her a little bit too. Um, this character does a lot of damage. Another melee character. She does have a projectile. Uh, she's got like a dash as well. And she gets armor. She gets armor as she hits her opponent. But that's really good. As you're dealing damage, you're also pretty much healing yourself, adding extra armor to yourself, which is really good. There is one drawback. She's not very good at enemies above her. But against like aerial enemies, enemies that are flying, she's not very good versus that because she can't do too much. She can use her dash to go up in the air, but outside of that, there's not much she can do to reach them. So she's a little bit limited there. With that being said, though, I think this character is an A tier. Very, very strong character, though. Especially with the right supports by her side as well. Oh, quick disclaimer in the last video, someone commented saying that, oh, when I was talking about the tank tier list, I didn't mention the um, the team up abilities, but I made it clear in that video and I'll make it clear in this video. My tier list currently are not talking about team up abilities with anyone else. I'm talking about the characters by themselves. No team, no nothing. I'm simply talking about the characters by themselves for these tier lists. So it has nothing to do with team up abilities or anything like that. All right, back to the video. Iron Man. Before I even talk about where I think he is on the tier list, I just want to say, I think Iron Man's a bit boring in this game. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels like that. Let me know in the comments how you don't feel about his tool set. I feel like he's a bit boring in this game. Boring to play, boring to play against. Uh, can be effective. I think Iron Man currently is uh, at a B tier also. 
maybe bird and yeah it depends i don't think i'm going to really order i'm not going to order any of these i'll just put them in their respective tiers i think iron man's in beta currently um my thing with iron man is that his flight right his flight is good mobility however a lot of the time it's not quick enough like he doesn't actually fly quick enough to get away from a lot of things a lot of the time unlike some other dps characters who have better mobility that can just get out like even characters like black panther he can use his dash to escape not necessarily to even get damage and it's quick he zooms with iron man you can still track him as he's flying so a lot of the time he doesn't have many great escape routes which is why you tend to see a lot of iron mans sitting all the way at the back while they're just shooting shots shooting shots just camping in the sky somewhere because anytime they're in the line of sight in the mix they can't really get out of that situation a lot of the time i will say though his um his laser beam is very good he can actually hold that for a while especially when he goes into the um the supercharge his transformation he can definitely do a lot of damage but around a good team iron man can definitely work however though i don't think he's great in 1v1s as well if you catch an iron man by himself a lot of the time he's not great with 1v1s so yeah i'm gonna keep my beat for now oh my god hella yo hella i'm not gonna lie hella's s tier hella is s tier to me this character literally like she if you're a low health character you're getting two tats like if you're spider-man if you're star lords even even if you're well even if you're um scarlet you're getting two taps like this character's damage is insane her dps is insane i don't know why she does so much damage but she does then she has some mobility as well with the crow for the crow so that's some mobility she can get on top of buildings wherever she wants that's pretty good and she can stun you a character that does this much damage can also stun you that's basically an instant kill if you get stunned by her if you're hitting your shots you're basically just gonna guarantee that kill Hella right now is ridiculous to me. I think her, her ult is pretty good as well. I don't think her ult is completely amazing, but it, it's definitely very good. It can lock down a lot of situations. <clears throat> if you use at the right time. I'm going to put her at Estee for sure. Oh, Punisher. I'm definitely putting Punisher at Estee right now too. I'm definitely putting Punisher at Estee. Punisher is good at long range, mid range, close range of the shotgun. His ult simply makes everything better. You don't have to play any different. He literally makes everything he already has just better. All ranges, long range, everything for missiles, submachine guns, everything. He's got uh, he's got decent mobility with the whole um the whole rope. That's all right. It's not the best, but it's all right. You can definitely take up some angles. So he's got some mobility there. And yeah, he doesn't really have crazy weaknesses except that his mobility is it is still a bit limited he hasn't really got aerial movement you know hella can actually float in the air pilot floating in the air so you can't switch it up he hasn't got any aerial movement he just has to work in one direction and if that doesn't work out you are kind of stuck in place however his damage his, his versatility in terms of the ranges he can play at and stuff his ult being damn near definitely one of the best ults in the game it definitely overpowers that and he still has a spot in s tier for me character is really good star lord hmm i think star lord's pretty good he's got good mobility his cooldowns don't take long so they refresh pretty quickly at short ranges it's really hard to win a 1v1 versus him because his um his damage is very high at short ranges Mid ranges, his damage is decent. Long ranges, not so much, but he can still get you. He hits with shots. Um, his ult is also extremely good, unless your character has a way to neglect it. Like, if I'm playing Scarlet, I can phase out twice and potentially not die. But if you haven't got anything like that, you're gonna most likely be eating damage. But he has to think about how he's using his ult as well because he could die during it. You know, he hasn't got the crazy amount of health. He's got low health. He's got 250, so you gotta be careful with that. However, I do think Star Lord is pretty good. I'm gonna put Star Lord at. I'm gonna put Star Lord at A. Spider Man. Now, Spider Man, starting off the game, Spider Man seems like insanely broken sometimes, especially if you come across like a good Spider Man. But he's hard to hit, right? Always cut. Every time he comes up, he always gets the first hit, always comes up behind you flying he's a target it's just always hard to hit very annoying character however 
Pags have got extremely low health. He can't really do too much to you at long ranges. He always has to swing and then come in. I think once you start figuring out like Spider-Man's sort of overall game plan, you can sort of take him down. However, he does count on certain characters too, so it can be annoying depending on who you're playing against, who you're playing with. Uh, however, I think Spider-Man's pretty good. He's decent, man. Spider-Man's decent. I still don't think he's A tier though. I may put him at B. Remember, this is not ordered, so I'm not ordering any of this. I'm simply just putting them in a tier. I'm gonna put Spider-Man at B though. I think Spider-Man's ult is a little bit underwhelming. You know, it doesn't, it does stun you, but the stun takes a little while. I heard you got nerfed from the first original alpha test. So yeah. And also when it comes to just damage with like melee, you have magic who's doing so much more damage. But again, Spider-Man has all the mobility. So yeah. Oh, another thing, Spider-Man can play around health packs. He's the best in the game at playing around health packs. You play Spider-Man and you know where all the health packs are in the on the map. Yo, you can his survivability, even though he has low health, his survivability can be very good if you play around health packs very well. Oh Storm. I'm gonna put Storm at 80. Yo, Storm is underrated. People are gonna be talking about Storm. Storm's power up, the speed boost is cool for her and uh, and her teammates, right? She had a speed boost buff, and then she's got the power up buff. The power up buff where she gets the lightning and stuff, yo. That does a lot of damage. Like it's significant. It's significant. Like it's a lot of damage. Um, of course, she's another character floating in the air. She's constantly floating there. She can't really be on the ground much. She's like constantly floating most of the time. Um, like she doesn't have a walk. She's always floating. Her ult is also very good. There's there's not much you can do. If she gets you in the, in the right in the right time. You know the tornado, invulnerable during that state as well. Very good ult. Um, good damage, good ult. I'd, I'd just say that her actual, the actual like, um, the actual attacks, that like her actual shots, are a bit harder to hit than some other characters in the game. Like to actually hit your shots with her. But when you do though, she does good damage, especially with that um, that damage buff. buff. I'm gonna put her at though. Character is good. She just doesn't have. Here's the thing, her survivability is dependent on how like how, how much she's killing enemies. Otherwise, she doesn't really have much to really heal herself like that. She doesn't have much to really get away from opponents like that. So her survivability is just not the best, but she's still a very strong character. And she can buff teammates, so yeah. Who we got next? How many characters we got next? Namor. Namor. This is, this is the character I probably have the second most play time with. I find him pretty fun to play. However, I actually have him at C tier. I think Namor might be the worst DPS in the game right now. I haven't played him a lot. He's, um, and I think that has a lot to do with Hela existing because I feel like Hela is a better version of Namor. When it comes to like fire rate on the actual, um, their actual fire rate on their shots, it's a little bit similar. I think maybe Hela's got a faster fire rate, does more damage too. Right, Hela does more damage, faster fire rate, I believe, if not the same. Um, better abilities, she has a stun and she has mobility. Now, in terms of, um, I think what's holding Nemo back is the fact that every single ability he has, outside of him throwing out the, um, he throws out his pets and they obviously just spit, they don't do that much damage, which is fair, you know, they just, he can regenerate them and Fair enough. Everything counts on him hitting his shots too much and he doesn't really have much of a stun like thing, like sort of like um, how Hela has. Keep someone in place and they can't move sort of thing. He's got the lance which splits into different things which is cool. But again, even hitting that you gotta really be hitting your shots and you gotta also pay attention. You got controller players. Obviously Marvel's Rival is a game with no aim assist so you got controller. I play on controller myself by the way, but I know people play on PC too. He's definitely a character that'd be easier to play on keyboard and mouse. I play on PC, but I play with my controller right here. So I am on PC, but I play with my controller because I just don't play keyboard and mouse. But this character right here is definitely a bit lackluster. His damage is fine. He does cool damage. I'm just talking about his, his abilities are good, but it's lacking something. And that something to me is mobility. Now he has his, uh, the bubble, the water bubble, where he can't be hurt during that period, which is cool. 
However, it moves very slowly. It doesn't move fast at all. There's a lot of situation where you use that bubble and by the time your cooldown runs down, because you can't attack while you're in there. You can't attack and you can't be attacked. As soon as the cooldown runs down, you're trying to basically retreat to like a healer or something. And the other team's already caught up to you because it's so slow. So a lot of situations you can't really do too much. You're just trying to play behind the wall or something. So yeah, if he had some sort of mobility where he could move a bit quicker, because at the moment he he's not really moving. He's staying behind behind teammates on enemy lines and just throwing, throwing, throwing. But yeah, he, he's not really, he's very, very dry at the moment. His all is okay. His all is pretty cool. It's all right. I don't think his all is the best though. It's okay. But yeah, that's that's how I feel about Nemo. All right, that is gonna do it for the DPS tier list in the Marvel's Rivals Alpha Beta Test. Uh, yeah, this is what I think about the game right now. I'm glad I played Scarlet. She's like the first character I tried, I think, and I pray up I just enjoyed her. And she's easy to play as well. But I think Hella's a bit harder. Fun is just quite easy too. It is crazy how the characters that are easy to play are also like at the top in terms of how good they actually are. And then you got characters like Black Panther who's a bit harder. That B, Spider-Man who's hard. That B. Interesting how they've done it. But yeah, this is what I think about the game right now. Uh, do I think there's any... Do I think there's any DPS who's like too good to wear the game breaking? No. I don't think any DPS is game breaking at the moment. I told you lot in the last video where you talked about the tanks. I said Venom. I think Venom is a bit too much. Like just the character I think is a bit too much. But um, in terms of DPS, I don't think anything is game breaking right now. I think characters are really strong. Like I said, if I had to order this, if I actually had to order this, I would maybe put Punisher as one or Hell as one, two. I don't know. They're all interchangeable to be honest. But yeah, this is what I think about it right now. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, start a conversation in the comments. What do you guys think about the DPS in this game? You don't think I'm wrong on this? You don't have different opinions? Let me know. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like. If you've been watching these videos and you haven't been subscribed yet, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the videos. Next thing to come is going to be the support. We're going to do the support tier list. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, I'm going to be covering more Marvel Rebel stuff on this channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned, man. Now, go.